Elon Musk has just unveiled a game-changing development that could reshape Tesla's future. A massive $200 million Tesla facility is being established in Brookshire, Texas, and while it's not directly focused on cars, it may be the secret force powering the highly anticipated 2026 Tesla Model 2. This new site isn't just another gigafactory, it's a megascale battery production center, signaling a pivotal moment for the company's energy and vehicle strategies. Unlike traditional auto plants, this facility will specialize in Tesla's utility-scale energy storage product, the Megapack. The idea is that instead of producing cars, this factory will generate the critical battery systems and infrastructure needed to bring Tesla's upcoming low-cost electric vehicle to the masses. Work on the site began in early 2025 with extensive renovations including freight system removal, door replacements, floor reinforcements, and installation of advanced automated production systems. Permits and electrical work are being fast-tracked, with temporary energy solutions already being deployed and major upgrades scheduled to finish before fall. By late 2025 or early 2026, the site is expected to begin full-scale battery production timing. That aligns precisely with the projected release of the Tesla Model 2, capable of producing 40 gigawatts of energy annually. This battery plant could provide enough energy to power hundreds of thousands of homes daily and simultaneously support vehicle battery needs on an immense scale. Brookshire was chosen for its logistical advantages located close to Gigafactory, Texas, enabling streamlined coordination and quicker component deliveries. Moreover, Texas deregulated energy market offers Tesla significant freedom to innovate and even sell energy directly, bypassing traditional utility systems. The demand for energy storage has been soaring in recent years, with 2024 seeing nearly 15 gigawatts of storage deployed in the U.S., a staggering 64% year-over-year increase. Tesla's Megapack is well-positioned to capitalize on this demand serving utilities in need of grid stabilization, solar farms seeking storage solutions, and EV charging stations requiring reliable backup power. A single megapack offers almost four megawatts in one compact unit, needing 40% less space and reducing installation costs significantly. When combined with Tesla's vertically integrated software, these energy systems outperform traditional storage solutions in both efficiency and long-term value. The AutoBidder software allows energy to be bought and sold at peak profitability, operating like a real-time energy trader, while integrated systems at supercharger stations using solar panels. Megapacks and fast chargers help maintain operations even when the grid fails. For drivers, this translates into more dependable and cost-effective charging, particularly for the incoming Model 2. Tesla's push into large-scale battery manufacturing supports more than just the energy sector. It underwrites their aggressive pricing strategy for the Model 2. This isn't simply about reducing production costs through automation, though that's a major factor, but also about using profits from energy storage to make EVs more affordable. Megapack installations can generate tens of millions in revenue, each with gross margins that help fund R&D for Tesla's next-generation vehicles. Globally, Tesla is building a vast energy infrastructure, not just in Texas, but also in Shanghai and Western Australia creating a worldwide supply chain for megapacks that also supports its vehicle ambitions. These hubs are projected to collectively generate over 120 gigawatts of energy annually, more than enough to stabilize entire energy grids or meet the battery demands for millions of vehicles. In doing so, Tesla turns energy storage into a strategic advantage, using revenue and technology developed in one division to bolster another. This makes it feasible to launch a sub-$12,000 EV without sacrificing performance or quality. Tesla is also leveraging breakthroughs in battery chemistry and manufacturing. The Model 2 and Megapacks will use lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries, which are cheaper and longer lasting than traditional nickel-based variants. These batteries offer more charge cycles and better thermal stability which translates to lower costs and enhanced safety. Tesla's upcoming battery formats like the 4685 and 4690R optimized for faster charging and reduced overheating.
is providing a consistent and efficient power source for both vehicles and energy storage units. Using the same battery chemistry and supply chain for both divisions cuts costs dramatically, with Tesla estimating that shared innovation alone could lower vehicle. Production costs by over $2,000 per unit. On the manufacturing front, Tesla's techniques like gyrocasting, where entire sections of a vehicle are cast as one piece, allow for faster assembly and fewer parts, reducing complexity and human labor. These production methods, which originated in energy product lines, are now being incorporated into Model 2 assembly processes. AI-powered quality control and semi-autonomous robotic systems maintain high standards while lowering operational expenses. Co-locating energy and vehicle production in Texas provides additional economic advantages. Tesla avoids costly international shipping by producing everything locally, shaving off logistics expenses that could otherwise inflate vehicle costs. Being able to scale quickly and adjust to market demands with a nearby battery source gives Tesla unmatched agility in the EV market. The revenue generated from Megapacks combined with manufacturing and material savings lets Tesla keep the Model 2's cost at a competitive level. When U.S. federal tax credits and state incentives are factored in, the Model 2's effective starting price could drop to just over $10,000. Tesla isn't just cutting corners to hit this price. It's redesigning the entire production and energy ecosystem to make affordable EVs a viable reality. And this ecosystem is built upon battery production, an often overlooked but critical aspect of Tesla's long-term strategy. This multi-pronged approach means Tesla is solving the battery bottleneck from within, giving it a unique competitive edge as other automakers struggle to secure sufficient battery supply. By centralizing innovation at this Texas mega factory, Tesla is setting up for unprecedented scalability. The plant is designed to eventually support production for 1.5 million. Modeled two vehicles annually by 2027. That level of output would place. The Model 2 among the top selling electric vehicles globally. Pushing Tesla to dominate not just the luxury EV market, but also the affordable compact category. The factory also serves as a testing ground for energy two-vehicle tech transfers, innovations in cooling, regenerative braking, and energy management developed for the Megapack will benefit the Model 2, helping it become more efficient, durable, and user-friendly. With shared supply chains and localized manufacturing, Tesla projects savings of $3,500 to $4,000 per unit on the Model 2. These cost reductions don't compromise on safety or features instead. They come from smart integration and streamlined operations. Should Tesla hit these targets? The Model 2 will become a disruptive force in global auto markets, challenging brands like BYD, Hyundai, and GM in the budget EV space. In conclusion, the Brookshire Battery Mega Factory is far more than a regional. Facility it's the foundation of Tesla's next-generation mobility strategy. By using this plant to centralize battery production, innovate with LFP technology, and power an integrated energy ecosystem, Tesla is preparing to launch what could become the first truly mass-market EV priced around $10,000 to $12,000. This wouldn't just make electric vehicles more accessible lit could force the entire industry to reevaluate its approach to affordability, energy, and production. The Texas mega factory is where energy and mobility converge, not just to support a car, but to launch a movement. Whether Tesla can sustain this momentum remains to be seen, but if successful, this factory will be remembered as the moment the electric car finally became the people's car. And with the global expansion of megapack production and software-driven energy systems, Tesla isn't just building cars anymore, they're building the infrastructure to electrify the world.